Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, today is a Black Friday haul. Um, I'm using my vlog camera right now because my other camera, my battery's dead. It's a long story. I'm really tired. I went out at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving. I didn't get home until 9.30 on Black Friday in the morning. So I was out for over 12 hours. Uh, I'm exhausted. I got a three hour nap and then I went out with my dad for like an hour or two. Um, so I haven't slept in a really long time other than the three hour nap I got. Um, I've not had like a night's sleep since the night before Thanksgiving. Um, but I am here. I need, I want to film things. I want to start putting things away. One of the things is when I go Black Friday shopping, um, I normally, I, there's a few things that I want to pick up for people. Most of the things are things that I wanted throughout the year that I'm going to buy. Just how I am. Just warning you now. Um, I got a lot of good deals. My friend and I have been doing this for years. It's kind of our tradition. We go out and go Black Friday shopping together, um, and we hit all the stores. So this haul is going to take a while. So go grab a snack, like pause this video, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit down. We're going to go through my haul. Um, it's going to be kind of live streamy. I'm going to try not to edit it too much. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just dive in. Okay. So first I'm going to go to JCPenney's, I think, which I only got one thing. I got this really cute black shirt and it has the uh, white stripes and on the sleeves it's long sleeves and it says west coast um it was the only one we could find it's in my size it says west coast which if you know me like all i want to do is move to la um i've i finally went to uh california for vidcon so my friend saw this i saw it we were like i guess it's made for me uh the price was originally 34 dollars and my total was 11.99 so pretty freaking good deal right here if i say so myself and it's really it's like it's not the softest thing in the world but like it's pretty soft and like it's like that like can you see what i mean can you see it yeah it's one of those so i don't know i'm really excited to wear this like with leggings and stuff i think it's gonna be cute um shut that there next we're gonna go to torrid which i very rarely shop at torrid because it's so expensive um but I figured since it's Black Friday, I might as well. And it was 50% off their clearance. Um, so I ended up finding this, which is Fearless. And it's in a size 5, which I am not a size 5. I'm more of like size 3. Um, but I thought it'd be super fun because it's so like oversized for me. And it can kind of be like a tunic-ish thing. So I can wear like leggings or um, tights under it. Uh, I don't actually know what the original price is because uh, it didn't have a tag. And I had to look it up. But I ended up paying... Um, it says the original price was uh, $6.99, but I believe that was the clearance price, not the actual original price. Um, I'm not really sure, but uh, I got it for $3.49 for this really cool shirt, and I think it's going to be super fun. So, I bought it. It was so cheap. Uh, the next thing I got is a skirt, and I saw this skirt a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, that definitely was like the on-sale price, the, like the clearance price was the $6.99. So, the shirt probably was like a $12 shirt, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I found this skirt um, a few weeks ago when I went. It's so cute. It's like pleather, and it's got all the fringes in the world. And it also is um, not necessarily my size normally, but it fits correctly on me. Um, and it looks really cute and like badass. Um, and it makes fun noises. But the original price is... $58.90 and it got marked down to $43.98 and I got it for $21.99. So yeah, that's so cheap for this. Um, and like my total came out to be $25.48. So for like basically $26, I got this amazing skirt and the long shirt, which is gonna be like a tunic. So I think I made out quite well, especially for Torrid. You can't even buy a t-shirt at Torrid. On normal price for both of those items so we're going okay next let's go to Target um I love Target oh no I dropped something um one of the things if you know me very well is I'm obsessed with movies and most of the time when I come back from back from Black Friday I have maybe like 50 movies like I go crazy on Black Friday for movies this year really I was not wowed but that's fine um okay so the first thing I got <laughs> was this little fox, uh, this is for Jenna, um, it's not for me, um, but if you've seen Little Prince on, uh, Netflix, 
uh, I saw this and I was like, it reminds me of the little prince because they have the little fox. And I just thought it was super cute for her. And we always get her Christmas presents. So this is one of them. Um, the only one I actually got out today, but she won't get any more. Um, the fox, I believe I paid uh, $4.19 for. So not bad, not bad. Um, I have, I got Deadpool, which I don't know how much Deadpool was. Um, I don't remember how much Deadpool was. It's not telling me which DVD is which. But, so I'll just tell you all the movies I got, and then I'll just tell you my total, because I don't know. Um, but I got Deadpool on Blu-ray. I got the Revenant, Rev, Rev, Revenant, is that how you say it? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Um, I bought it for my dad, because I thought maybe he would enjoy it. Um, I don't know. People said it's really good, so hopefully it is. Um, got Mad Max for my dad, because he likes action films, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm really excited. I found, uh, well, my best friend found Finding Dory for me um, for $10 on Blu-ray. I was so excited. This is the la I'm pretty sure this is the last one in the store. Um, it was like in like a hidden location and she found it. And I hadn't seen Finding Dory and I literally just got done watching it and it was so cute. Um, I'm like the last person in the world to watch it, but I'm so excited to finally have it. I'm so excited. Um, next I got uh, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. And, I mean, it has some of the best actors in it in the world. Um, but I haven't seen it. But, I mean, it can't be that bad. And if it is, I don't care. I like bad movies. So, I'm super excited. Um, and it's on Blu-ray. So, I love Blu-rays. I got Home because I don't have Home. And I love this movie so much. And I found it on Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure it was, like, $4. So, I was like, that is mine. I will have it. Um, I picked up Neighbors 2, which I also have not seen Neighbors 2 yet. Um, I saw the first one. I own the first one. I love the first one. Um, so I'm really excited to check out the second one. It might not be as good, but like, I like collections, so it's fine. Either way, I had to have it. Um, next I got Sisters, which I saw, um, I have HBO and I saw it on HBO and I finally got to watch it and I thought it was hysterical. Um, and the movie was or like the DVD was like four bucks or something. So I was like, eh, we'll skip out on the Blu-ray and get the $4 one and just call it a day. And now we have a copy of it and it's great. Um, next I got Big Eyes, which I do remember was $4. Um, it's a Tim Burton film. I'm obsessed with Tim Burton. Uh, as a future director, he is definitely one of my inspirations and, like, muses. Um, so I didn't see this, but I'm really excited. And I also have a Tim Burton collection, so kind of goes in there, and I had to get it anyway. Um, next is Joy, which I got for myself. Again, I, I bought a lot of movies I haven't seen. Um, but I haven't seen it, but it has... Jennifer Lawrence in it, and I'm obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence, so I had to buy it, and it was super cheap, so I was like, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, I'm getting it. Um, and last but not least, from Target, I got Pub Art, number two, um, because the first one was hysterical, and I'm pretty sure I saw the second one, I don't remember, actually, um, but again, it, it's a collection, it's a thing. Um, Target, I spent a decent amount of money, I spent... 79.38, which honestly is really good for me on Black Friday at Target. I normally go crazy. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever walked out of Target under $100 on Black Friday, so like that's really impressive. It did say I saved $105.96, so that's exciting. Um, I saved more than I spent, so we're good, and I approve of Target. Um, next we'll go to Ulta, which um, I originally wanted to go to Ulta because NYX was doing a um, like advent calendar and that's what I really wanted but I walked in there and they're like yeah no gone I was like great um and another thing is um so I ended up I found a benefit one for $45 I think and I like was carrying it around the entire store I was so excited um but then I was like Emily you need new foundation and I really struggle with foundation uh, my skin is very red nothing matches my skin's a weird color everything's just weird and I was like, you should definitely start getting, like, more expensive, like, not, like, drugstore foundation. You probably should, like, start getting better stuff. You're getting older. Like, figure it out. Um, so I talked to a woman there. And she ended up finding, um, it's the It CC Plus. Um, and she put it on my skin. And it looked amazing. Um, so I'm going to try this out. It killed me. It killed my soul. Because I pay, I don't pay more than $10 for my foundation. And this foundation was $38. And with taxes, it came out to $40.66, which is the most I've ever spent. I think I, the most I've ever spent on makeup, 
period. Um, but if it's going to make my skin look nice and it's going to do good things for me, we're going to try it. Um, I'm so nervous because it's so tiny, but um, I got it in fair. So let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do like a testing video or something on this or like a review because it's expensive as cool. Um, but that was the only thing I got at Ulta. Um, so next, let's go to Kohl's. Let's go to Kohl's. I didn't get much at Kohl's, but I still got stuff at Kohl's. Um, also, I got super distracted at Kohl's. Um, Billy, if you're watching, Billy's my new best friend. Um, <laughs> not really, but like I'm obsessed with him and we ended up talking. He works at Kohl's and boy knows how to bleach his own hair. And like, I'm so proud of him and he's freaking adorable, but any hooser. Um, so... I got the five-piece travel set of Eco Tools, which I thought was really convenient um, because I always feel like I bring like a thousand brushes and bringing this to VidCon would be a lot easier than like a million different brushes. Um, so this was, I believe, I don't know, was it $10 maybe? Yeah, this was uh, originally $10 and I got it for $8. 49, which is pretty darn good for Eco Tools. I love Eco Tools. They're one of the most amazing brands ever. Um, the next thing I got was a wet brush. And wet brush, I love. I have, I like by accident, not by accident, but like I bought a wet brush just kind of like, oh, I should probably grab this. And it is my favorite brush. Like I don't like using any other brushes. And I found that they have this like little mini like travel one, which again would be great for me to put in my travel bag and have. And it's really pretty purple. And it's normally, um, uh, it's normally $5.99 and I got it for $5.10. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I would get, I would have gotten it full price, honestly. Um, the last thing I got from Kohl's was more makeup brushes because I'm a makeup brush whore. Um, <laughs> and they have Real Technique, Real Techniques Eyes, the Ultimate Eye Set. Um, and they're this really pretty purple um, it says that it's a $36 value for $20 and I ended up getting it for $8.50. So literally got it for super cheap. It's limited edition, comes with the Luxe crease brush, shading brush, crease or essential crease brush, eyeliner brush, and fine liner brush. And it comes with a mirror to go case. So again, it would probably be good for traveling. We'll see. I don't know. I thought it was super cute. I love that they're purple. Um, I think purple's a theme. It's fine, but I'm really excited. And that's what I got at Kohl's. I ended up spending $23.64 for these three items, which is not bad at all. At all. Um, what else do we got? What else? What else? Um, we can go. What's let's go old navy. Um, so I used to shop. I got a big old bag from old navy. Um, I used to shop at Old Navy. There are so many things in here. Jesus Christ. Um, I used to shop there all the time when I was a kid, and then I stopped shopping there. Um, but I went back and I'm really excited. The first thing I got were these um, ankle socks and you can see, I don't know, they have like constellations on them and there's five pairs and they're like so cute. Um, I love ankle socks and they're originally $5 and I got them for not $5. What did I get them for? Why can I not find them? Ah, um, oh no, they were originally $10. Yeah, $10 and I got them for $5. Um, which again, for five pairs of socks, or oh, it's a seven pack. For seven pairs of socks, <laughs> not a bad price. Um, next, we'll go for this shirt, which was originally sixteen ninety four, and it's this long sleeve, really pretty, like peachy color, um, and it's just a plain t shirt. Um, and I ended up getting it for eight forty seven, which I thought was super cute and super cheap. So um, I got. That, I also got it in another color. Um, I got it in this, is this the one I got? No, it's not. I got it in another color. Here we go. Um, I got it in this black and white stripe, which I think is super cute. These are also super stretchy and super soft, like freaking super soft. Um, so I thought it would be super cute to put like, I don't know, like wear with jeans or something. I don't know, super cute though. Um, next I have, um, is this the hem? I don't know. This, okay, so I ended up getting this shirt for $3 and three dollars and 97 cents, so basically $4, but I know that's not the original price, because I got it on clearance. Um, I'm trying to move the tag. 
Uh, looks like it's originally twelve something. Probably like almost thirteen dollars. Oh my god, these tags. Twelve ninety nine for this shirt. It is really pretty, like baby blue, and it has a nice little pocket. And I think it's a men's shirt. Um, but I just thought it'd be like a fun, like nice big T-shirt to just like kind of relax in and like bum around or. I don't know. I thought it was cute and it was super cheap. Literally $4 for that. So can't go wrong. Um, where did, okay. Uh, the next thing I got, which was $2, it was originally, oh, well, it was $147. So a little less than $2. Um, it was originally $14.95 and I got it for like $1.50. And it's just a plain tank top. Um, it's this really pretty, like pinky red. Um, which actually I'm literally wearing black leggings right now and it looks super cute over my black leggings. Um, and has kind of like the circle bottom so it doesn't go straight across. Which I think would be super cute to like wear leggings, this and like a jacket of some sort, like maybe like a leather jacket, I think would be super cute. Um, but it's two dollars, so obviously I'm gonna get it. Um the next thing I got, which I just thought was funny, um, which this shirt was originally $12.94 and I got it for $4.99 and it literally <laughs> says chillin like netflix and chill um but i thought it was so funny and i'm obsessed with netflix and it's like a men's shirt and it's really big and like comfy so uh pretty much obsessed five dollars isn't bad for that um okay so the last thing i got from target oh wow i have like so many receipts in there um the last thing i got from target i got two of these and they are i guess they call them like plush tops but they're these like sweaters they're like a thin sweater top and it's a long sleeve, and it is literally like petting a chinchilla. It's so soft. I literally just want to use like them for pillows. It was originally $19.94, and I got them for $9.97, and I got this cute like gray, and then I got a like red kind of uh, burgundy maroon-ish color. Um, and they're just so soft and I'm so excited to just wear them. Honestly, my, uh, winter is leggings. So like having these and leggings would be so cute. And like, I don't know, I'm really excited. Old Navy did amazing things for me this year. Um, like I said, I don't shop there anymore, but today was a good Old Navy day. It was a good Old Navy day. Um, next let's go to Walmart, I guess. Um, I went to Walmart twice. Uh, the first time was with, or actually I went to Walmart three times. The first time I went in, I didn't buy a thing which is the most unheard of thing. Like, if you know me, you know I don't walk into Walmart without paying something. Um, the second time, my friend and I went and got hot chocolate, and we, uh, well, I spilled it all over her car, um, all over my hands. The woman at, uh, we went to Dunkin' Donuts. The woman was, like, freaking out, gave us a free hot chocolate, gave us two free donuts. Like, she was, like, petrified that, like, I was going to, like, yell at her for, like, me spilling my hot chocolate. Um, but we had to go back to Walmart to get like Lysol wipes and like stuff to clean up uh, my friend's car and I needed a new cup for my hot chocolate. So I ended up getting the Congo, I think they're called. Um, but it was a four pack and like, they're really nice. They're like metal, um, the travel mugs, it's six hours of hot, leak proof, 12 hours of cold. Um, and it comes with the two like silver, a blue, and there was a pink one, but I used the pink one, uh, cause we needed a mug. So this was like 20 bucks, which I didn't think was bad. They're really nice. Um, so I got that at the first Walmart stop. Um, and then my dad and I went to Walmart uh, just a like a few hours ago. Um, and that's when I got my real Walmart stuff. Um, when I went to go test out my foundation at Ulta, um, she was like, girl, you need to freaking exfoliate your face. It's dry. And I was like, girl, I know. Um, so I ended up picking up e.l.f. exfoliating scrub. I've never used it before. Um, let me know if you want me to do a review or something on it. Um, but I know I needed to exfoliate and I trust e.l.f. So I figured I'd try it out. Um, I also found, and th this was $5, which it wasn't bad um, as I drop it on the floor. Um, I found these emoji stickers. Um, I'm obsessed with emojis and they're like puppy stickers and they were a dollar. So I was like, I'm gonna I'm get you so I can be happy in life. <laughs> um, the next thing I bought was Epic and The Goonies, uh, both movies I love. I don't know if I own copies of them. Um, and they were part of the green color, which meant they were like $2-ish, something like that. Um, so I'm really excited to have these. Um, and then <laughs> literally almost tried in the store. 
I found everyone but the third season. I found all of American Horror Story. I found seasons one, two, three, wait, one, two, four, and five. And I couldn't find three, which is Coven, which is my favorite season. And it was the last one I found. And like, I had just almost given up and then I found it and I was so excited. Um, but so I have all five seasons. It cost me like $45 to do, um, which isn't bad because uh, they were all on sale. But I love American Horror Story, so I don't even feel bad about this. Like, I'm so happy with this purchase. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so that was Walmart. Let's move into, hmm, we'll move into Joann's because as I kick my cups over. Um, so I only technically have one thing from Joann's. Um, Fun fact, I have a limit on my card, um, and I didn't know I hit my limit, <laughs> so I had all this stuff at Joann's, and then I could only buy one thing. Yay! But I ended up getting a Cricut, which I'm so excited about. I had a Cricut in the past, um, and it ended up breaking, and I don't know how you can fix them and stuff, so I ended up um, getting the Cricut. Uh, getting a new one. This one's wireless, which is really exciting. It's also gold. Um, like, it's just so Tumblr. Like, it's a freaking gold cricket. Um, I'm so in love with it. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to open it and start playing with it. Um, it's going to be amazing. I've been really looking forward to, like, buying a new one for the past, like, four years. Um, and I haven't done it. And today I did. Uh, this machine is about, I think it, I think the retail price is $330. And I paid um, it was down, marked down to 200, but with tax, I ended up paying almost like 214, which is not horrendous when you think about the fact that like I saved a little over a hundred dollars on it. Um, I'm okay with it. I didn't need a new TV, but I needed a new Cricut. So I got my Cricut and I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's very heavy though. So I'm going to put this down. Um, basically we're just in craft places now. So yeah. Um, let's go, let's go to Michael's, which is the first place I went. Um, so one of the things they were doing was, um, which I probably should find my receipt. No idea where my receipt is. Um, found it, found it. It's like 10 feet long. I'm dropping movies everywhere. So you can see it like receipt. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find anything on here, which is gonna be great. That's fine. Um, they ended up, I'm not gonna unwrap any of, or like all of these, but they have these huge 17 ounce candles um, and they were five for 10. So I paid $2 for this thing. Um, and I got, did I get, I got one apple cinnamon, two vanilla and two like evergreen, like a Christmas tree. Um, and they smell pretty good and they're really big candles. They're really heavy. Um, they're each candle is five ninety nine. So basically I just got these for free. <laughs> like they're so cheap. Like I got them for $2, like I, $3 off each of them. So cheap. Um, so yeah, I got five of those, which is this big, big, heavy bag right here. Um, and then I got, uh, shadow boxes. Um, I do a lot of different things with my shadow boxes, but I have this size, which is the, uh, eight by 10. And then I got the, um, what are they? Five by seven boxes. Um, and these were... 50% off, I believe. And they were like $22. So I ended up getting them both for $22 because they were half off, um, which isn't bad for shadow boxes, to be honest. Um, and then let's see. Okay. So I love, <laughs> I love little Christmas trees. So I got this Christmas tree, which is originally, uh, $8.99. And if I can find it, let's see, let's see, let's see. No. <laughs> It did not work that fast. Um, um, keep the struggle, keep the struggle. Ha, I found it. Um, I ended up paying $4.49 for it, which is super cheap. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's a cute little Christmas, can't talk. It's a cute little Christmas tree. Um, okay, I'm adjusting because this bag needs to come up here with me. Um, Okay, so the next thing I got were, I got eight of them. I'm trying to find them all. <laughs> they're these cute little canvases. Here we go. I got eight of them because they're super cute. Um, but they're four by four inch canvases. They're white. I just thought they were so precious. Um, and I thought like I could like 
do like something like do four of them and do something on like each one and then have it kind of like be a square on the wall um do a cute like art piece with it um and these were let's see um i paid 89 cents for them and they're originally like three bucks a piece or something like that so i got them for super cheap and sorry not sorry i bought every single one of them um i was really excited <laughs> um what do we have next um i bought a star or snowflake for my christmas tree it's a little topper um it was 2.99 i bought it for cheaper than that um doo -doo 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 -doo. i don't know i paid something for it but it was cheap um it was probably close to like a dollar um I got these little wooden snowflakes, which I thought were super cute. They're, oh, they're apparently stickers, which I didn't know, um, which are originally $2.99, but I know I got them on sale. But there's so many of them. There's 24. They're so cute. Um, I also found these, um, which are bending. That's upsetting. Um, these, like, cardboard slash wooden cutout that says magic um, for some scrapbooking that I'm doing, which I'm really excited because they're so cute. Um... And then, what else? What else? What else? Um, no, that's not what I wanted yet. Um, I got this camera stamp for pretty cheap. Um, I just I just thought it was so cute. Um, and obviously it makes sense for me to have a camera stamp. So I did it. Um, I also got this emoji pack. Like I said before, I'm obsessed with emojis. So why wouldn't I have an emoji um, stamp pack? Then I got this and stamp. Um, it was super big and cute, and I thought it would be fun to be able to scrapbook with or do other things with. Um, I also got this pack of stickers that are airplanes, so I can uh, scrap <laughs> scrapbook. That's the word, scrapbook all of my traveling with airplane stickers because I think they're cute. Um, the next thing I got at Michael's, um, which is like the last bit of Michael's I'll show you, is um, I'm obsessed with planners. <laughs> Um, and I saw on Amazon these Create 360. If you saw my, um, organization, um, video, like back to school organization, I had something very similar to this that I created, um, which you can get from like Staples and stuff, but this company, um, has everything and it's just so cute. Um, it's very similar to, uh, what is it? Like Laura, Laura or whatever the other there's another brand of like planners that are super expensive and super cute, but, um, it's create 360, the happy planner. And they just have like mine. Um, my cover is like black and white and it looks like, uh, it's painted with flowers on it. And it says best year ever. And this actually came with, it's a 12 month planner that came with, let's see, came with a planner, four sticker sheets, um, four sticky notes, three magnet book, and 12 dividers so it has a nice little set of like a whole bunch of different things that i can put in here um which i was really excited about and i think it was i didn't spend like a horrendous amount on it i ended up spending um for it was 13.99 for this so like 14 dollars for a planner that you can get to, you get to customize which i think is really exciting um i'm really excited to like open it up and dive into it um then of course i went crazy with all the things that i can add um i also got they have like a small one, they had a large one, and this is the medium one, which I thought was going to be really good for me. Um, the next like edition I got for it is the fitness edition, um, and it's the foil, which um, I think is going to be really good because I really want to start working out and I want to be able to like document that stuff. Um, so it looks like it comes up with some sheets and uh, some dividers and stickers. Um, so I'm really excited. Here it says, um, what does it come with? pre-punched, uh, track your fitness for four months of weekly food and exercise logs, two sticker sheets and four dividers. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to like get into this and like try to figure this out and like try to work out because I need to. Um, next, I think these are the same. No, they're not. Um, I got happy planner stickers and this just has five sheets and I just thought they were super cute. Um, I don't know if this has a theme. Oh, this is the exercise one duh this is the exercise one and then um this has a whole bunch of like inspirational kind of things um dreams are chasing uh or dreams are for chasing wow this is my favorite thing ever a day in a life like these just like cute little like stickers that i can put on to kind of like make me happy 
because that's that's what we need. We need uh, motivation and happy little things. Um, oh, this is not to do with this, but this was uh, a pack of stickers that I got that has like cameras and stuff, and it's just very me, very YouTube. Um, so I was really excited about that because I've been getting into scrapbooking again. Um, what else do we have? We have I think I bought I bought three packs of this, which is forty pages of a um, daily um, a daily uh, planner. Um, and it, it looks like it has like the daily thing and on the back it has raindrops. So it's just kind of like where you can do notes, I guess. So I got three of those. Um, and then I got a, another pack, which actually extends my calendar for another, it's six month extension, non-dated monthly and weekly calendar pages, two sticker sheets and six dividers. Um, so I can make my calendar last even longer, which I think is really exciting. Um, and it wasn't that expensive to do. Um, and last but not least for Michael's, I got, um, these little notepads, which, um, for my other planner, I did have these. I just, I didn't know if they were the same size or not. Um, so I picked them up just to make sure, uh, just in case. And I like to put them in there and create my to-do list on it. Um, so I have it in there for the day and these are really cute and pretty. Um, so I'm excited for them. I'm really excited. I love plan like planners. So I'm really excited to like dive into this, which is probably what I'll do if I'm not sleeping tonight. Um, so that was Michael's. Michael's, I ended up, it was like my, other than like uh, getting getting my Cricut, this is the most expensive um, store, but you can also see how much I got and like all of that planner stuff. Um, I ended up spending $96.75. I could have done so much more damage, um, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed that, that was only like, a little under a hundred dollars because I got so much stuff. Um, but we'll go to our very last store. This is so long. I'm so sorry. I did a lot of shopping. Um, this is why I told you to grab a snack, but my last store that I went to was AC Moore. I love craft things. I'm sorry. Um, so let's dive in here for this receipt. Um, wow. There are so many pieces of paper. Again, we have a very long receipt. Um, I got a lot of stickers. Um, I got these vacation stickers, which I thought were super cute. Um, if you know anything about me, like I said before, I'm obsessed with emojis, but specifically the poop emoji. And I was going to take the opportunity to buy an entire pack of poop emojis. Um, I haven't been to London yet, but like I've been stockpiling London scrapbooking pictures. So when I go, I have them. Um, <laughs> so I got those, um, a pack for New York. Um, these are coupons. <laughs> Um, I got a pack of, it's just like black and white and they're just super cute. Um, I got two packs of the same like there. And then I got two packs that are the same from California. So like if I scrap both my VidCon stuff. Um, so, and these stickers, I think this pack was like $2 and these were each a dollar a piece and they were buy one, get one free. So they were super cheap. Um, not complaining. The last thing I got from Joy or from AC Moore, which I'm so excited about, um, and it was kind of an impulse buy, but I'm also really excited I did it. Um, as I hit you with it, um, uh, I will show you one because this is a lot of work, but look at this. Come to find out, I have four of these. Can you guess what I can spell out? That's right. MTV. Um, these are huge letters, like to my, like huge letters, um, and if you've been around for a while, you saw I have the little ones that I galaxied and I used to have behind me. Um, and I love those, um, but I found these big ones. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to galaxy them. I don't know if I'm going to decoupage them. Let me know in the comments down below what I should do with these for my set. I'm, I'm attempting to build a set. Um, so let me know what you think I should do with these um, in the comments below because I'm really interested. Um, yeah, so that was my Black Friday. Um, Joann's, these were originally $10 a piece and I had 40% off. So I ended up spending $6 a piece for these letters, which is so cheap. Um, any who's are, that is all that I have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry. It's so long. I did a lot of shopping. I bought a lot of things. Um, let me know if you like this video, if you like hauls, if you want to see more hauls, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below, like what kind of hauls you want to see? Like, where do you want me to go buy things? Cause I can pretty much buy things anywhere. Like it's a problem. Um, and if you haven't already, you might as well subscribe because I make videos sometimes and then I post them sometimes. And then sometimes people like them and then they follow me on my social media and then we become friends. 
So if you want to be one of those people, you probably should do it. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm sorry. I hope you guys are having a great day and an amazing week. And I love you all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm now editing this video and realized I never shouted out my gem of the week, which this week we're going to make a complete, like, exception and have two because this week we had two different people do MTV Doodles, which is Annabelle Ash and Lauren Nala on Instagram, uh, and they both did amazing art, so here it is. Um, so go check them out, go follow them. Uh, I'm a failure this week and I don't have another doodle, but I promise you in the next video there will be one. Um, so next week's uh, gem of the week will some be somebody who is interacting, so follow me on those social media so we're interacting. Okay, now actually goodbye, goodbye.